talk about the play. Tell me all about it. Well, uh, the play is the second in a trilogy of plays inspired by Jackson Heights. And all of them were written by multiple playwrights. Mm -hmm. And each one of them involved a collaborative process where a team of writers came out and explored Jackson Heights and gathered stories and then collectively interwove them into a single piece. Nice. So Ari had this idea to write the first Jackson Heights play, and that one was about the observed life of the neighborhood. And the second one, she had this idea that we would write a play about the neighborhood that took place in the neighborhood, but was inspired by the folk tales and the fairy tales of the cultures of the neighborhood. So we had this first meeting where the seven playwrights came, and I thought that the fairy tales would be ones that we got out of books. But then she told us we had to actually go talk to people uh -huh. in the neighborhood. And then Stephanie went out and didn't come back for a bit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we all came back, and some people had been successful talking to people in various languages in the neighborhood, and they brought back really interesting stories, and some people had people not wanting to talk to them, but then Stephanie was just missing. <laughs> and we were wondering what had happened. My husband just asked me, he goes, did you tell them you were writing a play? And I was like, no, I just didn't. I was like, you know, I love older people. And so I got into this long conversation with this woman who was an immigrant and um, had told me about her life and coming here and her husband had died and she became Marta, who is the witch in the play. You know, sort of, she was lonely and sort of misunderstood by her neighbors and she was wanting to sue her landlord. And some, of, some of the bits of her story in the play are true and some of the ways in which she's misunderstood are true and then some of them are just fun. But she was hilarious. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. So I'm gonna miss it. And we cast that, that role very differently this time. Yeah, around. which I love. I love. Well, now it's a man playing yes. a witch wearing sh my shoes. <laughs> where did she? Where did he get those shoes? I'm curious. <laughs> Ask Jessica Cord, our fashion designer, about it's, that. <laughs> I think I have I have very similar shoes. I think they're. I'm not sure, but I think they're from Payless. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> they're very comfortable shoes. <laughs> I think they're, they're the same style. I don't know if they're the same ones. So, so it's great. So how long is this play going to run? Like how much longer will it be playing? Well, we run through May 1st here. Right. And then we, um, this is your like scoop because we haven't announced this yet. Mm -hmm. But um, we're actually going to bring it to Jackson Heights for two performances. Oh, so we're nice. we're bringing back to the neighborhood that inspired it as kind of an opportunity to say thank you sharing your stories with us. Oh, that's really nice. That's great. Okay. And then what's next? Oh, um, many things that we can't quite talk about. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> too bad. Well, you'll have to let me know. Through wait, 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 will we do have a concert coming Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, do you want to talk about that? Sure. The uh, United Nations Chamber Music Society mm -hmm. is having its world premiere concert, and they've offered to donate that as a benefit concert to Theater 167 for mm -hmm. our outreach work and also for the refugee cause. Oh. And um, so all ticket sales will, will uh, be shared uh, by us and the ARC, mm -hmm. and it's uh, gonna be on April 26th at seven. Okay. And the concert is $25, but it's $10 for ticket holders of You Are Now the Owner of the Suitcase. Oh, very, very wow. good. Okay. And it's going to be in the sanctuary at the Church of St. Paul in St. Andrew. So, and, okay. um, and we are now at the West End Theater. Um, Jackson Heights is painted on the floor, but and uh -huh. around you and applied, but we're at the West End Theater uh, where we're one of the resident companies, and that's where the show is running. That's until great. May 1st, and it's also in the Church of St. Paul in St. Andrew on West 86th Street. Oh, great. So how do people buy tickets? Can they go to your website to buy tickets? They can. Okay, great. Well, well, people need to buy tickets to go to this. It sounds like a good, and it's a good cause. So that's great. And um, I wish you could tell me about new, the, new, the new season, but when you can, let me know. Like through Kippy or... <laughs> and I can tell you that on, on May 2nd, Ari Lorecreeth is going to win the uh, Lucille Lortel Award at the League of Professional Theater Women Big Mingle. So if you are at the Big Mingle... 
you will be able to see that, or if you're not planning on coming now, you can still ch you still have time to change your mind. <laughs> and what, what what is that event? The it's thing? on Monday, May second. Oh, great. So it's it's it. it's now in the evening. Oh, great. Are you are you members of the League of Professional Theater Women? I am a member, and yes. Oh, that's great. And I think I need to join. Yes. <laughs> and well, now that you're winning the Lord Tolerate, I believe you'll become an honorary member for a year, and then you'll have to join. And Stephanie? I'm not yet. This is how it happens. <laughs> oh, wow. There's pressure on camera. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> supposed to I'm not a member. I should become a member. <laughs> you're not. I'm not a member, no. <laughs> But I'm a member of the Drama Desk. I'm a voting member of the Drama Desk, and I used to produce that for 11 years. So, well, the, I really enjoyed this play. It was very charming. I wish I could take my niece and nephew to see it because I think it's it's adorable, very sweet and interesting play. Uh, I think everyone who has children should bring their children to come and see it. I think it's it's a very special production. So, um, and I thought the actors were excellent. Really, I also really liked the woman who, who um, ha lost her suitcase. Mm -hmm. I oh, thought she was she was Mariana great. Pettis, she's wonderful. Very good. So we love this company of actors. That's fantastic. So hopefully you can stay in touch with me and let me know what's coming next, so I can you know tell my you know audience at Broadway Showbiz about it. You'll be the first. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks again for doing this interview. Yeah.